Hi everyone, this is a quick video from eCorp Maps to say congratulations on setting your first GCSE Maps paper. Well done on getting one of the papers done and out of the way. Now there's still two more papers to go and that first paper was about a week ago now so you probably had some time to talk about it, to see, talk about how it went and also to probably actually do other exams and other subjects. But the most important thing now is how you prepare for paper two and how you prepare for paper three. Because if paper one was went really well for you, fantastic, but it's important that you have a good paper two and paper three as well. But if paper one didn't go as well as you'd hoped for, a good paper two and a good paper three can really make sure that you get the grade that you want. So everything is still to play for. You've got to believe in yourself and believe in the fact that you can do really well in these next two papers and do, get a fantastic grade. Now in terms of preparing for paper two and paper three, I've made a lot of resources in Cobra Mavs for you to prepare for those next two papers. So the first thing I've done is I've made these on-scene topic checklists. So what I've done is I've had a look at paper one and I've considered what topics haven't appeared yet. And if they haven't appeared yet, so for instance, if paper one took place and there's no Pythagoras and no trigonometry questions, I would revise those Pythagoras and trigonometry topics because there's a good chance that they may appear on paper two or paper three or even both of them. So they're topics that I would look at. Other topics, where for instance, if there was maybe only one question ratio, and ratio is a very important topic, I would have listed that as well because what I've done is I've listed topics that are on scene or usually more prominent. If, for instance, there's loads and loads of questions on scatter graphs, well, I'd probably revise all the other topics first before then looking at the scatter graphs as well. And that's one thing to note as well, is there's no reason why a topic can't appear in all three papers, so make sure you do revise everything. So in terms of these on-scene topic checklists, in green, you've got the geometry, the shape, space, and measure topics. In red, you've got the number topics. In orange, you've got the statistics topics. And in blue, you've got the algebra topics. The topics with stars are the topics that if I was revising, they're the ones that I would start with first. Then you've got the topics without stars. There are still topics that I think have got a good chance of coming up again. And then the topics that have appeared on paper one that have been tested lots, I've maybe taken some of those off this checklist. So what I've also said is it's important you go back and you revise those as well. And if you go to the GCSE Foundation and have checklists and code maps, you can see those topics as well. So what I would say is these are the topics that I would have started my revision off with first, because I think, for instance, if Pythagoras and Trigonometry didn't appear on paper one, and they're very important topics, well, I would think there's a good chance that they may appear on paper two and paper three. So these on-scene topic checklists have been really useful for you in terms of just revising the topics that haven't appeared yet or usually more prominent in terms of the exams. But just remember to go through everything anyway. So as well as those on-scene topic checklists, if you go to the Corp Maps website and you go down to GCSE 2024, you'll see those on-scene topic checklists for each of those exams, you know, AQA Higher, AQA Foundation, edXL Higher, edXL Foundation, OCR Higher and OCR Foundation. And I've got those on-scene topic checklists there for you. But also what I've done is I've made a collection of questions based on those as well. So for instance, if you're doing edXL Foundation, I've made a practice booklet of all these questions. I've started off with all the star topics to begin with. So you've got all those questions. And then I've got questions on all the ones that have got no stars as well. So there's questions for you to practice on those too. You can make sure you're revising all those on-scene topics and the ones that are usually more prominent. And I've also on that paper listed the ones which have been tested on paper one which may still come up and I've put the video links for you there as well but there's just some questions there for you to practice in terms of this paper two and paper three now also in terms of preparing for those next papers paper two and paper three remember there's loads of revision tutorials on corporate maps so for instance if you needed to revise compound interest you've got the video tutorial there on compound interest you've got the practice questions the answers and things like that as well so there's lots and lots of resources on corporate maps that can help you so what i would say is well done on doing that first paper congratulations everything is still to play for so a big push now before that second and third paper have a look at those resources in Corporate Maps, those on-scene topic checklists, those revision papers, the video tutorials and the resources there that can help you. Also have a look and see if there's any other paper two and paper three resources out there as well, because the more practice you do, the better. And also just believe in yourself and you can do this. Well done on doing all that hard work so far. If you watch those hundreds of days ago videos as well, I really hope they were useful. Keep up the hard work and you can do this. And I'll make another one of these videos just before paper two. And I'll also make a video for paper three as well. So keep up the hard work and uh, all the best. Cheers. Bye.